<laughs> Let's go to Greenville, talk to Lena. Hi, Lena, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I have a question about hawks. <laughs> sure, um, all right. I am seeing one around my garden, and looking at my book, it seems to be the rough-legged hawk. Okay. It's You know, it's got the yellow eye and the, the yellow on its beak and mm-hmm. the speckle white. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I look at the map, it doesn't seem to be around this area. Can it be that same hawk I'm seeing? There's a outside chance, uh, but I suspect that what you're seeing is one of the one of the molted color forms of of a, a red tail hawk. Yeah. Um, okay. They're highly varied. But its eye is definitely yellow. I mean, I can see the yellow ring, you know, through my binoculars. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, one of the things that you would look for, and when you look at the the breast of the hawk, you look at its chest. Red tails, especially in the east, tend to have most tend to have this what we call a belly band and so Mm -hmm. you you'll see you may see other streaks on the chest but most of them kind of concentrated into this into this belt Mm -hmm. so you know you want to take a look at that um a really rough legged hawk this this one is very you know very whitish it's not like the you know like the red what's the behavior Mm -hmm. of the bird um in your yard well, he just sits around. It has a favorite branch it comes to, and it just sits there and looks around. And I do have feeders, and, you know, a lot of birds mm. obviously attracted to the feeders and the fat. Yeah. And, uh, in fact, two days ago it was sitting on a branch, and it was there for, oh, golly, about four minutes at least. And another hawk fly, flies in and lands on the branch beside it. Well, this wh- was a, lo- a bit smaller, but the same type of markings. And then my hus- I called on my husband and we looked out the window. And then the, the one that landed on the branch just mounted on top of the other one. Is this too soon for them to be actually Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> this is hot there, breeding season. This is when season. I wished I had a fabulous camera. There's love. Was enough There's love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, let me ask you one other, uh, another follow-up question here is, are these birds uh, hanging out on branches that are near an open area, or are they just in your uh, yeah, sort of wooded kind, up, kind of wooded open, yard? yeah, yeah. Yeah, my neighbor who's on the, uh, the other side, you know, she has quite a big stretch of land, and it is fairly open, yeah. It's hmm. like but open, day, open field? Yeah. It spotted a rabbit mm-hmm. underneath an azalea bush. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it went crazy. It flew around in a circle and down on the ground. And, you know, obviously was trying to get this rabbit, but the rabbit wasn't crazy enough to come out. Uh-huh. Well, mm. I mean, okay, so here's the deal. If it's breeding here... It's not a rough legged yeah, hawk. Yeah. Okay. We we okay. do we last year we had a few show up. I saw one uh, right outside Columbia actually on the interstate uh-huh. last year, and then had another one up here in Greenville County. But um, you know, so it's just a juvenile, a juvenile, you think, or a light color face. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm I'm thinking red tail, um, just because that's the most likely answer but yeah. um you know it, it, it depends on the size red shoulder hawk is another good uh, guess but you want to listen for the for the noise because if it's a red shouldered hawk you'll you'll hear the call and the call's real distinctive it's okay. it's that and yeah, this yeah. time of year during the breeding season you're going to hear red shoulders hawk um just screaming all over the place okay. like that okay. so yeah. if if you happen to hear that out there associated with this bird definitely red yeah. shouldered hawk otherwise i would suspect red tail hawk. Red-tailed. yeah you know okay. it's... i mean they're absolutely beautiful birds I oh just yeah stand, miss, you know i'm just fascinated standing at the window and the door looking at them yeah well lena if i'm you going get... out to buy a, i'm going out to buy a better camera next week so that i can definitely yeah well take, you know take a better photograph of it when it comes because it seems to be that it's a regular you know um, around the garden now, yeah. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. and, and the other hawks that you need, when you mention bird feeders, um, I think both of our minds shifted for a minute to something like a Cooper's, Cooper's hawk. hawk yeah. um, that That's also a bird that, uh, a female especially, is relatively large. Um, and they're very active hawks, and they sit and they watch and they wait, and then they pursue. Um, mm-hmm, having mm-hmm. an open area near it, as Patrick was asking, begins to lead you to the question of, well, maybe it could be a beautio. Uh-huh. Um, that's hanging around, uh-huh. and the beauty that okay. we typically see, kind of close in to homes in kind of suburban settings or semi-rural settings, are, are red-shouldered. 
Hawks, the one that he just mm-hmm. played for you. Red-tailed hawks tend to like more open country, and they would tend not to be in areas that are as close. Now, when you said it was after a rabbit. Not a Cooper's Hawk. Not a yeah, Cooper's That's hawk. when my mind went off yeah, Cooper's that's when we Yeah, that's when we yeah. both went back to Budios yeah. because Budios okay. are, are bunny hawks. And, and really it's too big for a red shoulder. A red shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, well, thank you so much. I'll continue watching it, and if I get a photograph, I'll send it off to you. Yeah, please do, Lena. You can email you. photos to us. Um, yes, any, yes, Anybody out there can email photos to us at radio-l at clemson.edu, and we, we usually try to get back to those as quickly as we can. Yes. So we enjoy okay, seeing them, too. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks so much, Lena, for your Bye. call.